Hello, welcome to Val's Crafty Creations. Today I have for you part two of the Rainbow ATC card swap, what I received from my swap partner. I mentioned in the video where I shared what I was sending off to my swap partner, that my partner was just amazing. She did a wonderful job with all of her cards and the amount of goodies that she sent was just over the top. I had to fill this container here from Dollar Tree with all of her packages just to keep them all straight and actually I have one of the smaller containers here contents from her envelopes into here and then I'm going to have a container of all kind of fun goodies to work with on my projects. You'll understand once I open them. I want to quickly try to go through each envelope and share with you uh, what she sent. Baseball sleeve that I'm going to fill with her ATCs and I'm going to add with the rainbow washi tape here and add this into my notebook and I'll have a couple blank spots to add a couple other ATCs I receive. And when my partner sent me the indigo and Violet ATCs. Uh, I caught her in time so where she could combine the packages and so she decorated this grocery sack with the some inks and stamps and all in the purples and teals and turquoise. It's really amazing the, the inking that she did but it would be a great background to to reuse so I'll probably just add that into the bin and we'll see. Okay so let's go ahead and start here. I tried to put them in order so we have the red and so for each of the ATCs what she likes to do is to send little inspirational kits Cypriant can use in their projects and if you recall if you saw my first video sorry about the crinkle I was waiting to work on her ATC and I needed a red rose die cut. So when I received this, I opened it up and she had included a red rose die cut. And that. And just everything from here. You can see guest check, cupcake liners, gems die cuts and also she included little stick pins with beads that could be reused just amazing and then there was always a little card that matched well, here's the red tissue and here is her ATC just amazing little layered up all kinds of die cuts and inking and spraying so we have that to stick in red number one. All right. So, and then here's the other flower die cuts. So just, just amazing. There, so that's red. And oh, and then each one had some kind of a, like a little uh, container also with all kinds of other things. And here's red. Uh, felt pieces and foam pieces and charm pieces just amazing I couldn't not believe it and then we help each one had a little pack of sequins of some sort and got hearts and round ones and little flower ones just awesome okay so and then we have orange and you can see how she decorated the envelope with this one and that's that. And here's the orange tag. Here's another little stick pin and die cuts, little buttons, and cutouts from magazines and advertising. And here is the orange ATC. So we'll put that in our baseball sleeve. And our little sequin mix, flowers, and oh, some more beads in there too, looks like. So there's that. And you can see glitter paper, 
and even die cuts. Look at just amazing paper scraps of all sorts. So it'll just go into the bin. So quickly here, here's yellow. Uh, yellow ATC, beautiful black. You just did amazing decoration on the back, paints and stains. Popped it up, die cut here. Just put that there. I didn't mention the orange, so we have looks like a heart on some kind of canvas background and some nouveau drops, butterfly in the center there. And each one, there's a little note for the yellow. Oh no, that was for the orange. And here's the yellow. So, yeah, she set these really great little inspirational kits that just covered each color of the rainbow, and they were just amazing. It's kind of hard to show because this is a lots of packaging with pickles, but here's the sequin mix and lots of black and yellow, just different coloring pages. Just amazing. Uh, painted backgrounds. Here's a bookmark, and oh, and some all kinds of different stickers in each one. Here's some egg stickers. I'll add that to my Easter area, and then after that is our green envelope. And so here's our green package, buttons, just just amazing. All the different items that she sent. I just. Packaging with green backgrounds, it's an amazing eye for all these different color combinations. Oops, what's the button? So we have that. And some more stickers. This one is a hummingbird set. That's beautiful. And of course the leaves, they would be green. And here, spring in the air, we have the rainbow, butterfly, horseshoes. Shamrocks, just amazing all the different textures that are on each of the cards. And like I said, I didn't know when I was doing it whether you would go with something that reminded you of the color or just, you know, random piece of artwork. The, the green items. Let's see, see if I can open it here. Uh, there was a lot of these cut aparts from the Graphic 45 collection. Everything matched each color. So here we have different ribbons, trims. Oh, there's some, I see some small jars. And it's amazing that she had these little boxes in every color. So there's that. There's the green. And then we have our blue. We have this. Here's our little note. And our blue package, and we had another coloring type page. And I like really like how she recycled all the different packaging. So in this one we have some tool and some beads and lace and trim. And here's our little sequin box, some of our little flowers, uh, some of the little clay bits and the snowflake shaped. Oh, that's cool. And just some little hexagon ones. Just amazing. Here is her ATC. We've got lace and a stamp on the top. Just all kinds of layers. It looks like kind of some embossing powder layered up. So we'll put that in our blue one here. Amazing. And let's see. The die cuts and... Here's another graphic 45 piece, advertising, just, oh, some washi tape in this one, and stamps, and just all kinds of things. There's all, oh, here's a butterflies, and there was a, sometimes there was always a little, little paper bags, and Tickets, just everything, just amazing, amazing, amazing. I can't say that enough because that was truly very amazing. And then after blue, we had indigo. Running out of room here. 
bit smaller, but I didn't mind. It's, it's it's still amazing. There's just so many great, fun little goodies that I can work with on my projects. This amazing tag that, as a background, here's the Graphic 45 cut apart. And just stamped images. And take us some more flowers. And her note. And her... Oh, and she sent this butterfly die cut here. I actually went through and found all the butterflies that go in there. So that's going to be neat. And this time her ATC came in this pretty little bag with a butterfly stamp on it in the indigo color. That's neat. And this time, so she put indigo on it. She's got some flowers layered up. And really neat background here too. And really neat. That one. Put that one off to the side here. And the final one is the violet. It all came in this package here. And sorry for the crinkle. The ATC is right on top. More really great die cuts. Here's the note. Here's her ATC, beautiful dragonfly on the top there, really neat background. And that uh, looks like Nuvo drops. She stamped some more dragonflies on the background. And a flower that looks like hydrangeas stamped in silver, layered up. Keep life simple. Very pretty. Put that right into our sleeve. And here's um here's the little box. And see this one has some of the scrap of the paper that she used as the background, some more beads and trims, and some of the little purple rose gems, some more lace here, and different trims, a little bulb pin with some beads on it. Here's the sequin box. I, matching color and some little charm bits in there some of the dragonfly cut out other lace I saw one time and this one and every time I look through it just amazing all the different little bits and bobs that she's put in put there and just all kinds of different purple papers that can be used as backgrounds Inked images, little Care Bear stickers, those are cute. And so there's that. And if that wasn't enough, what she also did, she a little rack. So here's her note, and it has just more different die cuts. And there's a little box with some more sequins in it. And uh, papers of all sorts and these napkins here oh, so large image this is the so this is the one I used on my playing card swap and so yeah these are really pretty some more decoupage in my future and the coffee one I don't have that one perfect and one that looks kind of like peacock theme there's that, and I have just all kinds of other things in here, and I think there's some Tim Holtz die cuts and like the advertisements. I'm glad I've been feeling better and was able to speak through this video and share all these packages with you. And didn't my swap partner do amazing on the rainbow ATCs and all these little inspirational kits? So excited to have this organized and have it ready at hand to where I can start using these items and I will definitely put putting this into my binder so that I can refer back and just gain inspiration from all these amazing little works of art I thank you for stopping by Val's Crafty Creations today to check out part two of the rainbow ATC swap that I participated in 
during March and April. It sure was a lot of fun. Well, you take care, and we'll see you again really soon for another crafty video. Bye for now.